Thank you for watching this newest episode of Cooking with Chris. Today's recipe is a little bit different. You've probably seen these on TV by Dunkin' Donuts, the uh, sausage pancake bites. Well, I decided to try making them myself. I, instead of using regular pork sausage, I used a turkey sausage. Also, I used a very simple recipe for doing pancakes, which I will show you how to do. So, let's get cooking. Okay guys, to make our, our uh, pancakes, what we're going to do is we're going to mix two cups flour, four tablespoons sugar, two teaspoons baking soda, two teaspoons of salt, two eggs, two cups of milk, and four tablespoons of vegetable oil. If you want to use butter, you can use butter as a substitute. And then also maybe about two and a half to two tablespoons teaspoons of vanilla extract and then what we're going to do is we're going to beat it to a smooth liquid okay for this next step what we're going to do is we're going to be cooking our Jenny O turkey sausage uh, pretty much what you want to do is put a in a medium skillet whatever you have put a fourth of a cup of water and then uh, bake them on a medium heat for about 15 to 20 minutes until they reach a core temperature of 165. Okay guys, so the first step of this one is we're going to fill using our injector. Fill up the well with a little bit of the dough, the uh, pancake mix. And then drop one of our pieces of turkey sausage right in. And then cover it. And then we are going to rinse and repeat this. Okay, everybody. Now that you uh, have your mini muffin tin filled with sausage and pancake mix, um, if you don't have a non-stick pan like I do, uh, you can use the spray that I, in the uh, tools or ingredients section, and that will help with the sticking. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bake these at 350, um, pretty much, this is kind of the first time doing trying this, so what you're going to do is just keep an eye on them what, uh, and check them, uh, let's say 10 to 15 minutes, check them, uh, stick a toothpick or a fork in one, and if you pull it out clean, they're done. Okay, everybody, so here we go, they're all plated up. Uh, <clears throat> you can use, you can, I'd say a little bit of, uh, maple syrup or something with these, but just give it a shot. Hmm. That actually tastes pretty good. Probably nothing compared to the uh, Dunkin' Donuts uh, sausage bites, but not bad for one I made. So, I'll give this one a thumbs up. Hope you give it a shot, and if you do, give me a comment on what you, how you did with it. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that recipe. I hope I hear some comments or even some video feedback from it. Uh, it was a very simple recipe to redo. Uh, mine came out a little bit differently than uh, the professional-made uh, Dunkin' Donuts version, but I think they're about the same taste, uh, maybe, with the exception of the sausage I used compared to what they used. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, thumbs up. And keep on cooking.